Alright guys, welcome back. I'm going to be talking today about the new EASHL traits in NHL 20. Haven't heard a lot of people talking about these, uh, but there are, I believe, three new traits in EASHL that you can use to build a player. And the first one is offensive minded. So what this one does is it increases your puck control and your offensive awareness. So, puck control, obviously your ability to hang on to the puck. Offensive awareness, kind of a confusing trait that I've never fully understood. But basically what it does is it slightly increases all your offensive stats. So, that left column here, wrist shot accuracy, wrist shot power, slap shot accuracy, slap shot power, hand eye pass, puck control deking. It's going to give you a slight increase to all those stats, so if you're playing maybe as a winger or more of an offensive defenseman and you just want a little bit of a boost to your offensive stats, this could potentially be a pretty good uh, trait to use. Personally, I'm not a, a huge believer in offensive awareness. I feel like I rarely feel the difference, um, but I have been toying around with a build that combines hockey IQ and this trait to get my offensive awareness up to 97 just to see if it really did anything and I was playing okay but I really I couldn't tell you if that was because of my, my super high offensive awareness or if I was just having a good game but yeah this, this seems like an interesting addition to the game since hockey IQ already increases both your offensive awareness and your defensive awareness so it kind of seems like what's really the point, but um, they also did add in defensive minded one and two, which is just, you know, the flip side of offensive minded. So this is going to give you a boost to, let's see, discipline, defensive awareness, and stick checking. So it's going to give you a, a boost to your defensive skills with that defensive awareness boost of so shot blocking, body checking, I guess face offs as well too. You are going to lose some points on the offensive side, so you're going to lose points for wrist shot accuracy, slap shot power, and your overall offensive awareness. So keep that in mind. Uh, and I didn't mention with, with offensive mind of 1 and 2, that's obviously going to give uh, a negative to your defensive awareness, but also to your stick check. Lastly, we have Cardio Master 1 and 2. So what this is going to do is increase your endurance and durability, so this could potentially be, be pretty good combined with uh, Marathon Man, so you can just keep skating and never run out of energy um, with that increased durability, less likelihood for injury or losing energy from big hits. This is, however, going to cost you points in your defensive awareness and your puck control. Personally. Cardio Master is probably not something I'm going to use. I would just go with the specialty Marathon Man, which seems to still be the best specialty in the game. There were no new specialties added, unfortunately. I could definitely see myself using Offensive Minded, uh, with maybe with a winger or uh, certain builds that I'm working on, so an offensive defenseman build, like I said. I just I think Puck Control is a good stat to have a good rating in. Offensive awareness, you know, like I said, I, I don't put too much stock into that. But if you're really going for a build that's uh, going to be focused on offense, that might be a good thing to have. I really can't see myself using defensive minded too much. You know, discipline and stick checking, these are things you can, you can control pretty much almost entirely. So yeah, I feel like you don't need a, much of a boost to discipline you know, to just not take a bad penalty, and then stick checking, you know, just use it sparingly and in smart areas, and you'll be fine, you don't really, I don't think you need that rating very high. Uh, another interesting thing about NHL 20 and these EASHL traits is that they took out Faceoff Master, or whatever it was called, basically the, the trait that makes you better at faceoffs, they just took that out, which I think is a good thing, uh, you know, it should be who times the face off the best and who chooses the right sticking that decides the face off, not some arbitrary rating 
that not to mention takes up one of these slots that you could add something cool to that you really want as opposed to just feeling like you're obligated to have that face-off master trait. Um, so I'm, I'm honestly pretty glad that they took that out. I think a lot of centers are going to appreciate that, and that'll give you more freedom to build the player that you want to build. So anyway, guys, that's all the changes they made this year to your EASHL traits. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.